So it has come to my attention that the movie Cruella comes out on Friday. It is currently Monday. I thought it would be fun to recreate one of her costumes. The one that caught my eye is the one where she lights the match and drops it and then there's a red dress underneath. So I'm going to try and go for that one. Don't mind her. She's my new friend. She's like a foot taller than me, but it's fine. So I'm going to get started on... I'll show you what I have. But first, this is what I've been working on, but she's going to have to go away for a bit. Last week I went to the thrift store. I grabbed two old bridesmaids dresses because I love doing upcycling and it's just more fun. It's more of a challenge. So let me show you what I got. Dress one is a satin number. It's not my size, but it comes with a nice neck warmer. Dress two is a strapless chiffon design that is also too big for me. This is the first dress on Inside Out. My plan is to have this one be the base dress, so I'm going to fit it to the proper shape and then use the second dress as the swirly parts around it. The beautiful shawl uh, I'm going to use as the neck piece, sort of like this. I'm probably going to have to get more of a crinoline under here. It's quite a defined trumpet. I really hate working with tools, so I don't think I have any. I had to pin and stitch this several times until it was the shape that I wanted. It's nerve-wracking to sharpie fabric, but this was just the lining. It wasn't the fashion fabric. Also, I think it goes without saying, but this is not going to be the best constructed project ever. It's so... Do as I say, not as I do with sewing techniques. Amy, this is not a dog bed. This is a dress. Do you want to be made into a coat? I can draw spots on you and you can pretend to be a Dalmatian. I stitched over the seams that I had pinned. Because I had changed the fit of the dress so drastically, I had to move the zipper lower so I could get my hips in and out. The third time's the charm! It fits and I like the silhouette. And my little sleeping beauty woke up. Then I stitched approximately the same shape for the lining. Great shot there. <laughs> and I need, I mean, I need to cut stuff, and you can't be around for that. No. Go lay down. I pinned the outside and the lining, and then sewed the top, including the sweetheart neckline. Ta-da! I made a dress from a different dress. <laughs> The base dress is done! Uh, I keep having to pull it up because it's not designed to be a strapless dress. Oddly enough, the person who wore this was actually my height instead of six inches taller, so <laughs> I didn't have to hem it. It's very fitted through the body and through the knees, and then flares out dramatically, although not as dramatically as hers, and I'm just not going to have a train because there's not enough fabric to make ones. I want to use the other dress for most of the swirling stuff, but I want this part to be solid. It is now day two of making the Cruella project. I spent last night trying to pleat and figure out what I wanted to do for the neckline here. I think what we're gonna do is have this be the base and then have all of this dress that Emmy has turned into another dog bed as on top and sort of have the two fabrics blend together as they go around. I wanted to spend the night thinking about what I was gonna do, so I didn't end up working on this last night instead. I cleaned and oiled my great-grandmother's feather light sewing machine, uh, and it does work. Here is a perfectly tensioned seam that I did just to test it. But now back to what I was working on, which is petting my dog, of course. I drafted the neck piece, but this is not a sharpie because this is the outside fabric and I wasn't sure I had enough fabric. I had plenty left over at the end though. I cut apart the chiffon bodice. Do you see the problems I have here? I Emmy, mean, I'm supposed to be sewing. You're sitting on my sewing. <laughs> Thank you. That didn't last long. Surprisingly, she hasn't actually gotten poked yet. I pleated the chiffon. I have bribed Emmy to leave my sewing alone with an empty peanut butter jar. Right, Emmy? You having fun? I sewed the pleats down. I realized this isn't how the movie dress was constructed, but I'm working with what I have here. We have a change of the guard now. This is Judah, Emmy's father. Oh, and here comes Emmy. Yes? Was I giving attention to someone who wasn't you? 
More drafting here. I don't know what this piece is called, but I made it and I pinned it in place. The back has a lot less detail than the front, but I could only find one picture of the side of the back, so I did my best. I think it looks pretty good. I stitched all those pieces on. So I made the neckband in the same method as this part. So I didn't film that. Um, I'm now going to pin all of the straps on and then I'm going to try it on before I actually sew them together because I don't really want to redo that. That night, I traced about where I wanted the pleated chiffon to go with my disappearing pen. I pinned the pleats and stitched and stitched and stitched and stitched. It is now day three of the Corello project. You are sitting on my project again. Last night, I finished doing the top half-ish of the wiggly bits, I did them the same way as I did the neck piece. That took forever. I was not expecting that to take so long, and I have the rest of the dress to do now. We'll get it done. Right, Emmy? You'd be very helpful. Because it's really a three-dimensional surface, I wanted to drape the pleats on the dress form instead of flat. So my wig arrived. <laughs> Couldn't resist trying the dress on. Wish it were poofier at the bottom, but I can't find the name of my tool. Uh, this section is done. I have one piece of chiffon left and a very silly dog. So hopefully that'll be enough to cover this part. Yes. Everybody wants it now. I also have some leftover sheer curtain. She's got some off-white bits. I'm not gonna dye them to be off-white. They're just gonna be white. I cut the big rectangle, which was the front panel, into three trapezoids and then cut some white circle pieces. Looks pretty good. I pinned and sewed these together and then pinned them to the dress. Okay, the skirt is attached. Um, I am going to neaten up the top edge up here and sort of hem the bottom and more importantly, pet my puppy dog. She needs... she thinks she's being neglected. Do you have a light? <laughs> I would like to remind you all that I'm doing all of this in heels. Except for the part where I'm barefoot. Fifteen puppies! How marvelous! How absolutely marvelous! <laughs> Fifteen puppies? Emmy, you really need to grow some spots, okay? I gotta turn you into a coat now. Ta-da! It's done! I took off the mask because I couldn't... Do you want to be a coat, Emmy? I took off the mask because I couldn't see anything with that thing on. <laughs> but it's done! I am really looking forward to seeing the movie on Friday. I have really enjoyed most of the newer Disney movies. So basically, you know, it's done. I really like most of the costume. It's pretty good for three days worth of work, so I'll take it. The only things I bought new were the wig and the gloves. If you like this video, like it and subscribe and stay tuned for future adventures. I'm back to working on my mashup costume that you will see next. <laughs>